Trump's 2020 campaign chief just called for a reporter to lose credentials over a piercing question. CNN's Jim Acosta has long been a thorn in the side of the Trump administration, being as he is one of the few reporters unafraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the president and his surrogates in the adversarial manner they deserve. He's willing to ask the hard questions and he's not intimidated by the harsh and often crude responses that administration officials hurl back at him. President Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un signed a joint statement today, promising to work together to ease tensions and denuclearize North Korea. Unfortunately but not surprisingly, the statement lacked any concrete details and could ultimately lead to no tangible changes at all. At this point, the entire summit could still prove to be one big PR stunt for Trump. During the signing of the statement, Acosta refused to mindlessly buy into the farce, and called out a question to Trump, asking if they had agreed on a denuclearization deal. Trump responded that they planned to do so soon. Acosta then followed up and asked if the two leaders had discussed Otto Warmbier, the American who was captured by the North Koreans and released only to later die from the stress of his harsh captivity. Trump, predictably, didn't respond to the perfectly fair question. Now, Trump's campaign manager for 2020 Brad Parscale has taken to Twitter in faux outrage to demand that Acosta have his press credentials suspended for simply doing his job. It's a deeply un-American thing to suggest and fits in perfectly with Trump's broader war on the First Amendment and the Fourth Estate. Parscale's comments are unacceptable and if anything should lead to her termination from the Trump campaign, especially since he's done it before.